Good morning, folks. I'm here at an Airbnb in Southern Illinois where I got a big private lake in my backyard. Stayed here for one night for $95. There's a boat waiting for me at the bottom of the hill. I'm gonna have to make two trips down here to carry all my gear. I got four poles and my tackle and a paddle and a backpack. We're gonna see if we can get on some big bass or crappie. I don't know if crappie are in here, she didn't say, but it's definitely big enough that I would assume it has them. We're gonna find out. Exactly two trips to get my stuff down here. Beautiful morning. As the day goes on, it's supposed to get windier and windier. It's going to be 15 miles per hour straight out of the north, which is not a good thing, but I'm just going to keep trying and trying. Oh, I got to dump some water out of this. swim bait, crank bait, and a bobby garland. I don't even know what to start with. It's kind of overwhelming. I guess I'll start with the swim bait because big crappie will hit that. Just kind of go with universal for now. pretty clear lake relatively clear and that's after a heavy rain yesterday oh yeah good visibility I can see three four foot down yes sir there he is got it Let's see what we got here. Bass. I think by the way it jumped. That's why he was, he was the, probably the one kept pecking at it and getting off because he's a little on the smaller side. Yep, large mouth. Hey, it's a start. <laughs> I got them figured out now. There's weeds if you get too close to the bank and they're right where them weeds drop down and, and die off. They're right on that edge. You got to be about 20 feet from the bank and let it fall about three and a half feet tall the further I caught him. It just takes, yeah, it takes me a while to figure them out sometime. Sometimes an hour. Oh man. Instantly. <laughs> Same exact foot area I cast it to again. <laughs> yeah, I guess they are active. This pole ain't meant for bass. My other ones are. This has only got four pound line on it for crappie. I got to be careful. If I get a giant on here, it's going to cut me. <laughs> oh, I love doing that with corn.
that's what we do the night before we throw about 30 pounds of corn in and they all come to that area let it sit overnight they're, they're a weird fish they either barely peck or you look over and your pole's about to get pulled in there's no in between <laughs> There he is. Oh, this is bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, it's still on there. No, it ain't bigger. <laughs> he felt bigger at first. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's nice meeting you. About eight, nine inch. this island over here. Got another one. Hey, he's a little bigger there. That's a decent one there. Nice bluegill. My goodness. What a bluegill. Wowzers. That's a 
big old blue kill. Oh my God! Wow! Whoa! Woo! Gigantic red ear, guys, on a four-inch swim bait. Now that is odd. Oh my God! Yeah, I'm gonna fish with worms later. 100%. That's a big old red ear. Wow! Look at this, guys. Tell me that ain't a cool catch. On a giant swim made of old thing. Now that's just odd. For a red ear. That's a nice red ear. Did not know these were in here. What a beauty. Need about nine inches. them on a worm to save my life because it's too windy or some other reason I get them on a Bobby Garland though that's a night nice, these are some big bluegill in here and red ears
wish it was another red ear though. These bluegill are nice. Please be another bluegill. Yes, it is. You can tell by the fight. Six hours now, I'm just ready to be done with it. <clears throat> 